Today's game plan, pull the tail off of that trans. I wanna see how bad that bushing is that's back there. Cause I got the new dry shaft in it, but it kind of moves on that bushing, which is kind of fair it would. That other dry shaft stuck out, stuck out a little bit far there and it kind of flopped around and everything else. Plus that front U joint being bad. So I just wanna make sure it's all done right. Before I go beating the balls off this thing, spraying it. I mean, cause I still need, like other people's mentioned, I still need, you know, window net, uh, I kind of like to have a jacket and some gloves, maybe a better helmet. Still got an old helmet I'm running. Um, a little more safety shit, just cause I'm getting older, getting kind of fond of myself. When I was younger, I didn't get two shits. I was 17, 18, 19, whatever, I put nitrous on anything, spray living shit out of it. Just like to tell you, you can't spray cast pistons and all that. You can only do so much, but I can tell you right now, I ran 30 bottles of 125 two cast pistons. No issues. And me being uh, who I am, never even put time and light on it. I'd set fuel pressure up on it, read plugs, do timing that away. It's always worked. I've never blown a motor up on nitrous and I've ran a lot of cars on nitrous. Had a couple of blower cars, same thing. I did those by ear with timing, reading plugs. That's all I'd ever do. It's probably better with timing light, don't get me wrong. but. Knock on wood, I haven't blown one up yet. And I've been doing it for what? I don't know, quite a while. I'm trying to add it up in my head. 27 years. So, not too bad. So, let's get this tail shaft off here real quick. See how bad this bushing's all beat up. All right, she is off. So it's kind of hard to pick it up on the camera and you can kind of see it a little bit where it's kind of thin on one side. That's where it's kind of been slapping around there. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's kind of hard. This damn thing to focus. Anyway, over on this side here, it's real, real thin, which would make sense. I'm going to slide up on the yoke real quick. All right. Got trans slid up in there. About the same distance as what's in there. I don't know if you both see it, but you can actually see where it ends up putting. It's kind of hard to see on here. But if you move it, you can see it moving around, which you're going to move some. But this one has like a lot of movement in it. It's hard to see. In person, you can see it plain as day. All right, seal's out. So. What I gotta do now is I'm gonna knock this bushing right here out. We got a new one coming, it's not here yet, of course. Like everything else now, you gotta wait on everything. I don't care what it is. So I'm gonna knock that bushing out, get this whole tail shaft ready. I'm hoping the parts will be here Monday. I can put that new bushing in there, put a new seal in it. And while I'm at it also, I think I'll go ahead and put my Speedo junk on so my Speedo will actually work too, since I'm underneath there. Try to get this thing halfway button up little loose ends that I've been putting off forever and there we go she be out so yes I'm angled to get it up but look right here at that groove right there and if you can see it see all that shit right there smushed over and right there is all material from this that was getting mushed over into there so that tells you how much it was worn so I can't wait till Monday so I get the new one, get it back in here and get everything all back together on this piece of junk, get it ready for cruising, getting closer. So there we go, tail shafts off, bushings out. So I'm glad I did spend a little extra time with it. This way it's done right. I don't have to worry about whatever. It's slapping around, flood coming out, rear main seal, going out of road, going down the track. Get on our tires. That could be uh, quite shitty. So, like I said back in the day, I wouldn't have cared. I had one of them blue transit lines off Gunnery Slicks. That was a bit ass puckering. That happened about eighth mile. So, got a couple more things to do before cruising. Whenever the parts come in for that, which hopefully are Monday, get that done. Get that all buttoned up. And then I'm going to hook up the Speedo. Uh, it's a so, uh, digital thing or electric, whatever you want to call it. 
So I don't have to calibrate that. Once I get that hooked up, it's not a big deal. Uh, what else I want to do? Oh, that's what I got there, right there. Is over here. Still got it. I'm gonna take this out. I had a plastic line for my purge, but I'm gonna take it out, put a fitting in there with a piece of hard line coming out and up. This way it's not flapping around when you go to hit it. And it's pretty simple. Just a piece of little, where it is, 16, eighth inch, whatever it is, line, out of hard line. And I can still polish it and make it look all right too where the rest of it is junk. And one of these days I'll redo that carb, all the AN fittings and everything on that carb. Eventually do all purple up here just to make it all blend. Right now the red and blue and all the old traditional AN fittings from like the late 90s, early 2000s shits. But, works. It's not leaking right now. Eventually I'll replace all that to purple. He got a hold of, uh, I think it's Bill Norris up there. He said he's got some of them in stock up there. Uh, need regular radials for backup too. I kind of like to have those for cruising. I still got these old ancient BFGs and they're about done. What else I got to do to this thing? I don't know. But, right now that's the goal. Tail shaft seal, tail shaft bushing, Speedo, that little purge line, uh, like I said before, maybe an oil change, uh, just check every, check all the fluids in this thing, the rear, that's all new fluid in that already, because where Mikey had, uh, did all that rear suspension for me right there, so, that should be fine, I don't see nothing leaking back there, so that's plus, um, so it should be full fluid still. Anything else? Oh, I might have throw fresh up plugs in it too because I haven't put no plugs in this thing since probably September of last year. And it's got, I don't know, 20 passes on it, 30 pass. I don't know, not 30, maybe 20 passes on it since then. So get that done too. And I think it's ready for cruising. I only got, what, well, a little week left to do here to get all this done. So I got plenty of time, as long as those parts come in for that tail. I hope they don't hit me up and they're like, you know, I don't know, back order for 18 weeks. That'd suck. Um, so get that done, get the car cleaned up a little bit more. I did actually break down and kind of clay bar it there and everything else a week or so ago. Paint's not great, paint's kind of shitty. I paint driveway still, you've seen all the videos. But it's a good driver, looks good enough, shines blow by it 40 50 mile an hour you're like damn that's a nice car you get up on it kind of like mm, paint's nice and nice oh hey, well it's driver bugs are filled up in the radiator in front here too my daughter's always getting on to me you gonna clean these bugs out probably not I have to take the grill out of it in order to get to the damn bugs i ain't doing all that just so i can fill back up again the only way i'll take them out is if it clogs all radiator up and starts overheating so i'm gonna end this video with that one, like I said, hopefully Monday is when supposedly we're getting the pieces here for that. Hopefully. So keep eye out. I'll put another video up once I get that, and I'll take that here. And uh, I'm going to take it and drive it. It's always had a little vibration around like about, cruise, about 50 mile an hour, about cruising speed. It's always had like kind of like an in and out vibration. Which I always figured it was a dry shaft the way the front was flopping around because it was sticking out so far. I'm hoping that was it with this new dry shaft and this new sleeve and that uh, tail that, that does away with that vibration. Um, run the valves again. That's what I need. I just haven't popped my mind when I stand here. But um, hopefully that does away with that vibration on this thing. But I tell you, solid looking piece. Dry shaft is. Well, Matt Waterman, he looked her up on that one. I'm glad you got a hold of me because I had no idea he was a dealer for PST. So if you're looking for anything, like I said in the other one, look up Water Racecraft. Uh, he's Matt Water on Facebook Air. You can go to 302 Performance too. You'll see him on there. He's got that real fast car. Uh, look him up, man. If you're looking for a dry shaft or anything, look him up. Plus, other, I'm sure he sells a bunch of other shit too. But that dry shaft, man, she looks she looks good. It's way different compared to this old eBay special um southwest one like i was telling you before i mean you see the difference in the welds and all around quality is totally 
totally different. You definitely get what you pay for. I paid 250 or something stupid for that one from eBay. And it's like 350 this year. Now all of a sudden since, you know, well, it's great inflation. But I guess they're good enough for you in a pinch. They're probably good enough for like a regular street rod, which is what originally I planned for this car. It was supposed to be a regular street rod. It was supposed to have AC in it and all that happy horse shit. And I kind of got sidetracked here going the other way with it. So maybe I'll still end up putting AC in. I contemplate putting fenders on it, but I don't know. All right, I'm going to end this video right here on that one. Told you I'm a talker. I can ramble. So... Till next time, man. Look out for the uh, look out for that video, and then someday you'll see me put a little bit of nitrous through this thing.